Okay, how's it going? The last time I left off, uh, my last video was on how to uh, configure the JPEG with Windows, and then my first video was on how to hook the JPEG up to the cabinet. And so what now, the last installment I'm going to show you how to do is how to wire the pads so they register with the JPEG. Alright? And I'll bring you right over here as to what I've done so far, which isn't really anything major. All I did was remove the two face plates that were covering uh, on the left hand pad it would be the top right hand corner and for the player two or the right pad it would be the top left hand corner. Okay? These are where the boards are that control the two pads, one under here, one under here. And so all I did was remove this top face plate which I'm very sure all of you are very familiar with seeing. So you just remove that with uh, a drill, usually the quickest. And, uh, okay, and then there's a trick to lifting this plate up. Um, but usually there's a there's like four screws. I um, personally only put one in because this thing weighs about five pounds. So it's not going anywhere, not to mention that uh, there's really not much wiggle room. So if you put one screw in or two screws in, um, it, you're, it's guaranteed not to shake or anything. So... I mean, once you remove all four, it's your choice. You can choose to put all four back in, or you can choose to just put one or two back in. Whatever. Whatever the case may be. <clears throat> to remove these screws, which is, these are the ones right here. I don't know if you can see that. That are found. It's a, it's just a, a Phillips head screw. This one's a little bit stripped. That's why it looks kind of awkward. But uh, <clears throat> the only the, what I used to remove that was a number two Phillips head screwdriver. And so once you remove them, uh, there's a trick to getting this plate off right here. Uh, the trick that I've learned is you start from the top, you push down until you hear, you know, like shift a little bit, and just pull straight up. Okay. And then just lift away. And that is what the board looks like underneath. And then just put your plate somewhere aside to where you can, uh, you can have it out of the way. Okay, and now we take a look at the board down here. Okay, and so this is what the board looks like. All right, if you can get like a good view of that. Okay, so that's pretty much what the board looks like. Okay, but this is what we're interested in right here, is that uh, the Molex connector that's facing towards the, the right-hand panel. So if I back it up a little bit, okay, if I come straight down, so here's the pad, right, I'm coming straight down. Okay, we are interested in this connector right here, in this one. Okay? And so what you want to do is you want to just get, uh, you want to pick up uh, speaker wire, probably from like a Radio Shack, unless you have decent speaker wire uh, lying around, which doesn't really cost much, it's maybe like five bucks for like a hundred feet of it you're really only going to use uh, an inch and a quarter no more than an inch and a half because the longer you make the cord uh, the more time it takes for the pads to register so technically the shorter you make the cord um, like cut the wire the uh, the, sh the sooner it'll take but there is like a cutoff point so I, I figured it around to be like an inch and a quarter an inch no like no less than an inch okay I have, I have an inch on, on this other one right here and an inch and a quarter on here, but I mean, I still get the same results. I mean, it's like perfect timing. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to get the speaker wire, okay, and then you want to uh, cut uh, about an inch and a quarter's length, and then strip both ends of it, okay. And then once you do that, I'll try to get in even closer, so that way you can like really see what I did here. Okay, I'll move that down a little bit. You're going to see. The very on the very first one on this side right here, okay. There's a black wire, so that's uh, that's what I'm going to call prong one, okay. Then if I move over two prongs, okay, you'll see a white wire. I'm going to call that prong three. So what you want to do is you want to bridge the black wire to the white wire, okay. The easiest way to do this is once you strip your your uh, speaker wire right here, right. You uh, twist it up. Um, and then you just kind of like, you know, push, you want to like push these other wires right here 
a side. You just want to like push them to the side and then stick one end of the speaker wire as hard as you can down in there. I mean, go down slowly, but try to like, knit, like uh, nudge it in there as hard as you possibly can. And then just give it a tug so you know it's not going to go anywhere. You know, like pull on it a little bit. Okay? Then you know it's definitely in there. It's touching the black wire. And so, um, and so you know you're in good shape. Okay? The next thing you want to do after you you push the uh, one end of the speaker wire into the black side, okay, is you want to take the other end of the wire and, and, uh, and push it into the white side, okay? So, let me see if I can get like a macro setting on this. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. I guess I can't really macro it. I don't know how I would go about doing this. It really isn't my camera. But, <clears throat> okay, so I'm assuming you can see it from there. It's really not that difficult to find. Um, so the white wire, right? So all you want to do is just make sure that the white wire is pushed aside. You know, just push it over. And then just push down the cord into the white hole. Into the hole where the, the white wire lies. Just like you did for the black one. All right? Okay, and then all you have to do is just replace that panel. Just put the the two covers back on. So first, we get this one. We get this one. Okay, and there is a trick to putting this back on. An easy, an easy way to put it back on. You can you can struggle with it and put it back on, but there is a trick to it. Okay, so. For the player one side, all you have to do is just slip this in, slip, let me see if I can get this, you want to slip this in on an angle, okay? So you want to put this side in first, just like that, I don't know if you can see that, here I'll back it up a little bit, just like that, right? Slip that side in first, and then it's down in there, okay? So now, I'm going to remove the other panel. As I'm coming close to 10 minutes, about two and a half minutes away. Okay, I'm going to put it aside. And we're going to see the same basic setup. Okay. So there's the motherboard for that, for this uh, player 2 pad. Okay. And I will move the wire. Now on this one, it's, it's in the same spot. Don't be fooled. All the, all the other connectors are over here. You want to come like right where this thing is and move that aside. Because that's where you want... That's where you want the uh, to bridge the two connections. Okay, see if I can get that with some light. There we go. Okay, that's where that's where the the Molex connector is for the the pad. Okay, so it's going to be the same thing. We're going to do the same exact thing. Okay, so we're going to take here's the black hole. If we can get it. there. We go. There's the black hole, and all I did was. Uh, this one's this is like the inch wire. It really doesn't matter. You can do inch or inch and a quarter. But all I did was put uh, the first part into uh, the hole or the prong, prong one uh, of the black side. Okay, and then I moved over one, two, so one, two. So on the white wire, which would be prong three. Okay, see if I can get like really really close in there. Okay, all I did was just put it in the white prong hole. Same thing as the first one. Nothing's different. Okay? Let's see if I can get a different shot. Yeah, there you go. Prong one, prong three. Okay? And then once you do that, the trick to replacing this one, this uh, panel right here, it's the same as the last one except for it's reversed, okay? So instead, I'm going to put it on this side. This side first, lean it that way. And it goes right down. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Then all you have to do is just put your face plates back on. Oh, wrong direction. No, that was the right direction. <laughs> face plates back on. And uh, you're pretty much set to go once you put the screws and everything back in. Sorry the video took so long, but uh, didn't have a camera for the longest time. So, but yeah, that's all you got to do. So I, I hope that was really helpful and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial 
and uh, have fun setting up your machine.